Hey Labradors, today I'm going to read If You Find a Rock. It is written by Peggy Christian and the photographs are by Barbara Hirsch Lember. If You Find a Rock. For Jesse and Dean, third generation rock hounds and my best inspiration, and to my husband Steve and the wonderful children I photographed for this book, Atusa. Brett, Joseph, and Nina. Cool picture. If you find a rock, a nice flat, rounded rock that sits just right in the crook of your finger, then you have a skipping rock. You toss it out in the water just so and see it trip across the surface, making a chain of spreading rings. Such a fun thing to do. I'm not super good at it, but I can do it a little bit. Maybe you find a soft white rock, a rock that feels dusty in your fingers. Then you have a chalk rock and you use it to make pictures on the pavement. Or you might find a big mossy rock by the side of a long steep trail. Then you have a resting rock and as you sit down you feel the cool moss squish beneath you. Then again, you might find a rock with a stripe running all the way around it. Trace the line with your finger. It must circle all the way. You have a wishing rock and you whisper what you want before you throw it. If you find a rock, a big rock by the edge of the water, then you have found a splashing rock. When it hits the surface, the water jumps out of the way, raining back down on your outstretched hands. The bigger the rock, the wetter you get. I don't know about you guys, but my boys love to do that. Maybe you find a pile of small rounded pebbles. Then you have found sifting rocks and you can scoop up a handful and let them slide slowly through your fingers. Or you might find a rock whose water smooth surface catches your eye if it feels easy in your hand when you rub it, then you have found That's the ghost that lives in our bathroom. No, it's just our pipes making noise. Then you have found a worry rock. You rub it between your fingers and your troubles are smoothed away. Then again, you might find a rock sitting in a grassy field. Push it over. You have found a hiding rock. And in the cool, dark underside live all kinds of things that creep and crawl and hide out of sight. That is my son Carlo's favorite thing to do still, is look under rocks for critters. You find a rock, a great rock, that towers over you, then you have found a climbing rock. Hold on with your toes and fingers, grip as hard as you, can as you stretch and pull until you reach the top where you feel much grander than you did on the ground. My kids love to climb on rocks too, especially at Yosemite. Maybe you will find a twisting line of rocks sticking up out of a creek. Then you have found crossing rocks, which wait to meet your feet as you pass over the water rushing away all around you. Or you might find a rock with a print of something else, a leaf or a shell. Then you have found a fossil rock and you feel the shape of something that lived long ago when the rock was young. Have you ever found a fossil rock? Then again, you could find a small rounded rock right in front of your toe as you go down the sidewalk. You have found a walking rock and you kick it ahead of you and let it lead you home. If you find a rock, a rock that's not a skipping rock or a chalk rock or a resting rock or a wishing rock, that's not a splashing rock or a sifting rock or a worry rock or a hiding rock, that's not even a climbing rock or a crossing rock or a fossil rock or a walking rock, but you like it anyway because it reminds you of a place or a feeling or someone important, then you have found a memory rock. And sometimes those are the best rocks of all.
there's the last picture. I love all of the ideas that you can use things, um, rocks for in this book. Hope you enjoyed it, friends. See you later.